I've I've read you in your some of your some of your uh, positions. Free agency. That to me, the reason why the NBA is so progressive is because talent is allowed to to uh, look for its rightful place. Mm -hmm. If you allow talent to look for its rightful place, then I think uh, these trades will no longer be an issue. That that to me is the position. Yeah, I I I know the the. The owners and the teams might not like it because they have had so much control for so long over these uh, players. But I think free agency could be very, very positive. One, if there's a news cycle that's going to bring interest to the league. If players, for instance, want to play more, maybe they're going to take a little bit less money, but they're going their career will blossom more if they can play somewhere else where they'll play more. Um, but there'll be interest in the league, and that's what the league wants. I also think that... One thing I don't like, and maybe it's just me just being a player just recently retired, but I've this has happened to me. It's happened to friends of mine. Uh, it's happening now is where if my contract is coming up and I go to my boss and say, hey, boss, uh, my contract's coming up in two months. Uh, can we talk about it? And he says, yeah, okay, well, we can talk about it. <laughs> don't talk about it. Now, two months later, hey, boss, like my contract's up in two weeks. Can, can we talk about it? No offer, no nothing. They don't want to talk about it. Their contract ends. They still don't want to talk about it. And what is that player's option? He has no options whatsoever. He has to sit there and wait for an offer to come in. And what if they don't like that offer? They can't do anything anyways. They're stuck. What are they going to do, sit out a year? They're not going to sit out a year. And these are guys, these are grown men with families. Right. All they want to know is, is, what are you going to sign me for? They want to do best for their families and their careers, which, are, which should go hand in hand. And they don't have the opportunity to do that. So uh, that, that part annoys me. I think some of the teams have um, abused that power a little bit, and it's unfortunate for the players. And I think it could be spun in a positive way to, to, for interest in the league. So. I, I find that to be uh, true. Uh, you know, I've, I've heard this, this problem, and I... I personally know of many cases such as that. And I, I think that's where the PBA should come in. That's where they should exercise their power. That's where the imagination and the creativity comes in. I, I, I fail to see that now. Honestly, in the last uh, uh, maybe so many years, I, I was expecting that the PBA would evolve. You know, that now that they have an expansion uh, program, they have 12 teams, there are more players... There is more. There is a need to review the way contracts are are built. You know, our contracts are circa 1975. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah. you know, uh, even that long UPC is a 1975 contract, and uh, I, I really think that the players should be allowed, especially veterans. You know, uh, yeah. I, I would agree with the league. You know, obviously, as from a team owner's perspective. You don't want to lose your your good players and have a bidding war for him. Um, that's what that's the reason for all of these uh, right of first refusal uh, for for teams. Mm -hmm. But you know, after a certain number of years that a player has served you, um, it's easier. It's easier to see the level of talent uh, that you need, and you know sometimes that particular provision is even a a, a uh, something that's difficult for teams to handle because now you're, you know, you don't know what to do with that player. Um, you 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 have a right of first refusal. He's he's been with you for so long, but at the same time, you know, you know, other teams don't want to make an offer because you're you're just going to block it. So uh, if you just take that out, let the players find their their teams, the the, the right uh, place for them. And then uh, you, as a team, if you handled it, you're, if you handled the player well, I'm sure he would like to stay. Yeah. Uh, but if if you, as a team owner, also don't want him, it's a way to cut the, the player yeah. out. I mean, you know, you, you don't have any responsibility. So uh, I really think the, the PBA has to evolve. Uh, it's been a very long time. Uh, I, I understand they have. To be